Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. In this video, I am going to do one of the questions from the Doctor Who tag game. I'm eventually going to do all of the questions, but because I ramble on quite a lot, I usually end up doing multi-part things and I don't want to be just like loads of different parts of the questions. So I'm going to answer this one separately. I got tagged by the Doctor Who nerd to do the questions and I'll say who I want to tag in the the description box thingy uh, after um, as I want to tag people. So so if I tag you then I'll guess I'll send you a message. So this question was what kind of companion would you be? Now I go to break this down and sort of relate it to the companions in New Who because I barely need a dent in watching classic Who so I can only relate stuff to companions in New Who. So first of all I'm going to start off by Yeah. I don't think I would be that brave and gung-ho and sort of ace-like. Um, I think if we got to a really big conflict fighting bit, I'd be a bit like Rory. Or like, quick shove a chair from the door and like, Hit that and it like really eventually like bashing his way through but like this isn't really anything to be proud of but I think I do feel good about you so if you need me bash something but I'd be a bit ag I don't know perhaps I'd be good in a fight I'm not sure but um, I think I'd have, um, I would say I do have sort of Donna's self-esteem issues that she thinks um, she's nothing. Like when we, earlier, before she goes all metacrisis, she thinks that she's just stupid and not worth anything. I guess I feel like that a lot of the time. and then she thinks but I can't do it what? and then she needs the encouragement and she gets peace from and, and the doctor saying come on Donnie you can do this so I think it'd be a bit like that yeah now um, there is a bit uh, that bit where booze um, Jane's end episode where they go on the webcam and they sees Martha and she's Captain Jack greeting Martha's companion and stuff and Ray says well I was here first I can be a bit like that and a bit upset that when new people come along and they, they could be quite loyal and so clingy <laughs> to someone. I wear so many clothes on. I can feel quite threatened and upset and in a done way, a bit inadequate and feel like a bit feel that because that new person's come on, then I must be pretty rubbish. So that's so a bit of Beza's jealousy. And also, I, create, uh, I guess that the bit where Rose is holding the phone, phone up is going, bye, me, bye. Me. I was like, um, she's wishing stuff and it's quite spiritual. So, I can believe in 
thinking of wishing for stuff. But that doesn't really apply to being a companion. Where it is because it's like magicalness, wishing to get that to the TARDIS. And so I sort of think, I think I'd have a bit of connection with the TARDIS actually. Because I think we'd have gaily chats <laughs> about the Doctor. So interesting. Yeah. I think I'd have a good old sing song with the Ood as well. Yeah, we'd sing all the new pop tunes. That'd be fun. And then it would be fun to have a good old sing song. Dance too. I could be quite, um, I like I've been like kiddish and like being childlike and I think in that way I'd get on with um, 10, especially a bit that I think um, says this the most is like you know, the problems bit where it's like lying on the floor just having fun writing music, playing it, it's just in the, in writing the what was it, the music of the spears or something? And it's just, it just looked like a little boy just playing in his car, just writing some music in there. Before that um, grass thing come to that like, annoy him. And, and uh, especially a bit where he, um, he's got all his goose on things like, and he, he does like, he's like, oh, who are you going to cut? Oh, Ghostbusters! And he does that thing. I think I'd have fun, like, just, if we had a chance between events to just be childlike and just kid about, I'd totally kid about with ten. You were, like, so much fun. So, yeah, it'd be quite, um, childlike and that. Yeah. That, um, I am known for being very honest. So if it was if the doc was in the wardrobe for you trying his new outfits on, I would like totally say if he looks a prat. Although I do quite like the fez. <laughs> yeah, the fez is ace. So if so um this or this, I, I wouldn't like just dance about trying to please him. I just say, yeah, look rubbish in that. Should wear that. But if I don't necessarily be honest on purpose, it just comes out in my face. Like if somebody holds an outfit up and, and or whatever, I'm like, it just expression comes out in my face. And sometimes I blurt stuff out without real like just being honest, blurt it out. Then somebody like. Um, to that, oi, like, oh, so I would be quite honest and sort of give me, if the doc asks me opinion about stuff, uh, I'll give me honest opinion. Now, uh, how the doc, so, <laughs> so, I'm not talking about that to the future, it sounds like it. <laughs> How the doctor um, explains stuff and he gets annoyed when people like don't understand stuff straight away. I can get a bit annoyed like him. Um, so if he's explaining something and I knew all about it. I'd, I'd try my best but I think I'd get a bit impatient at times. 